Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is course overview for string algorithm course. It's been a long time since I released this uh, any video on my channel, so this is going to be the first one. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start a new lecture series on string algorithm. We have almost, almost complete 99% completed the graph theory part one series. So if you haven't watched that lecture series you can go and learn graph theory part one there there is also graph theory part two series but uh, we have already covered graph theory part one almost completed there is only one lecture remaining i guess and that series is all, almost completed so i can now start a new series so we are going to start string algorithm series so we will we'll be uh, covering almost every single important string algorithm that you need to have knowledge for competitive programming or any placement uh, placement uh, interview technical round so what i've done i have divided the whole algorithm in three sections based on their difficulty levels so i divided the whole uh, course into basic algorithms intermediate level algorithms and advanced level algorithms so We'll be starting learning from very basic and fundamental uh, fundamental algorithms then we'll be covering those algorithms and then we'll be taking on some problems so that we can uh, have a hand on experience on those algorithms we'll be implementing the algorithm that we'll be learning in basic uh, basic algorithm and then we'll be solving some problem to implement those algorithm and see whether we have knowledge uh we have basic understanding of those algorithm or not after that we'll be move on or we'll be moving on to intermediate level algorithms and same will be happening here we'll be learning algorithm then we're moving on for the uh, practice problems and implementing the algorithm that we have learned covered so far and finally we'll move on to the advanced string theory algorithms so if i show you in brief what are the algorithm that we are going to cover in basic intermediate and advanced levels so in the basic algorithms in the basic level we will be covering sliding win window algorithm which is the most basic string searching algorithm we'll be covering sliding window algorithm we'll be uh, looking at the implementation of this and solving one or two problems on that because this is a very very basic algorithm so we don't need to spend too much time here then after we'll be learning string hashing and rolling hashes after that we'll be using string uh, of course we'll be learning the implementation of string hashing and we'll be uh, studying how using string hashing you can implement string and substring search which is basically your ribbon cup matching algorithm because ribbon cup matching algorithm uses string hashing for its implementation so uh, if i explain you the prerequisite for this there is almost nothing you don't need to have any knowledge uh you just need simple implementation knowledge so if you are going to implement the algorithm in python so you must have a uh, basic uh, programming experience with python uh, and for these two algorithms string hashing because we are going to learn rolling hashes and wrapping up which will be implementing rolling hashes so for that uh, the prerequisite is uh, modular arithmetic because for calculating rolling hashes we need the knowledge of uh, modular inverse and modulo arithmetic so uh, in my number theory playlist you can go and check out those algorithms rolling hashes uh, sorry the uh, modular inverse and modulo arithmetic uh, when it comes to algorithm you might want to learn string algorithms as well as other algorithms and unacademy just got you covered so unacademy uh, have many courses on competitive programming and more than just courses they also have practice session uh, live session they have test series and much more so unacademy uh, have courses on almost every topic of competitive programming taught by the uh, the best experts or teaching teachers who can teach you and they have got structured courses online contests they host and there are practice problem that you can go and practice and the if i uh, show you the the guys who teach you uh, these are some of the guys like uh sanket for example have software have been software engineer in linkedin and for all of the soft uh, all of the guys that will be teaching you are really really good at their job so if you want to test how do these guys 
teach you can always go for the free live lectures and you can learn from these guys you can go for any lecture like uh, like this introduction to uh, flow which is actually an advanced topic in graph theory uh, so you can go ahead and check out the free lectures and if you think that yes these guys are good and these guys are teaching very well and you are able to understand of course you can go ahead and uh, go for the uh, one month three month uh, one month six month or 12 month subscription depending upon of course the money you have uh, the money you want to invest in so you can apply uh, the code in code underscore ua code and get 10 percent off on each of the courses so if you want to invest your money for good for competitive pro programming i think this should be the first place that you want to think so enough of that let's continue with the lecture so in basic algorithms we will be covering these algorithms some of you might be thinking why i have kept the uh, rabbing cup matching algorithm in basic and not in uh, and not in intermediate level algorithm the reason is because uh, once you have knowledge of string hashing which is very easy if you have knowledge of modular arithmetic and modular inverse believe me this is the easiest thing you can apply modular arithmetic and mo uh, modular inverse for once you have knowledge of this this will be very very easy believe me uh, when we'll be learning you will see that yes this is actually quite easy that is why i've kept this in uh, basic algorithms now let's go for intermediate algorithm so in the intermediate level we'll be going on for, for uh, prefix function there are two kinds of, uh, there are two functions that we'll be learning prefix and z functions so prefix function and kmp algorithm kmp will be used for substring or string searching and similarly for we'll be learning z function sorry and the applications of it if i show you where these algorithms and of course the source of all of these lectures will be cpalgorithm.com and clrs book here you can find all of the string related algorithm if you want to learn yourself so uh, we'll be learning kmp algorithm uh, this is rabin cup just ignore this we'll be learning prefix function and kmp algorithm and the implementation of that i mean the application so you can use it just let me increase the font size so you can apply KMP, uh, KMP for substring searching or string searching and you can count the total number of uh, occurrences of prefix and so on. These are the applications that we will be learning. Uh, this is for prefix function and KMP algorithm. Similarly, just let me increase the font size. Similarly, for, oh, this is uh, suffix automation. So uh, similarly, the uh, Z function has exactly almost the same implement uh, application as in the prefix function uh, they differ very little and when we'll be learning you can see the difference is very little uh, basically the definition of course the prefix and z function if their definition is same then why we need to learn two different things the definition differs the implementation differs but the applications is almost identical so we'll be learning prefix function and kmp algorithm and their application z function and implementation and its application then we'll go in, we'll be going on for suffix arrays and its application uh, application and yes there's one thing that you won't find here on cp algorithm in the uh, string algorithm series is that you won't find try here uh, there is i guess in suffix automaton i guess they are uh, in ahu koracic i guess in ahu koracic algorithm i guess they uh, they are talking about try for implementation of this i guess we need try but we'll be learning first try differently because of course you need to have the knowledge of try uh, its knowledge and implementation before you can use tries for other things so we'll be learning tries its implementation and application as well now these are your intermediate level algorithms finally we'll be moving on to the advanced level algorithm so we'll be learning ahokurasic algorithm suffix automaton and its uh, application and manages algorithm so these all algorithms are mentioned here as well we'll be learning suffix automaton its application there are enormous application of this one of 
one of them you can find interesting is this you can find the kth uh, lexicographically kth string kth smallest or kth biggest string and there are many other application of suffix automation as well so we'll be covering all of this in this course so these are the algorithms and some of the data structures like try that we'll be learning in this course so if you have any suggestion or practice problem that you would like to submit for certain level of algorithms like for intermediate or basic or advanced level uh, for certain algorithm you can uh, you can either comment it in the comment section or you can mail it to my email id i quote unquote at the gmail.com so this was all for uh, for this lecture thank you guys for watching and till the next video drops keep coding thank you